Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Realm Grinder video, episode 91. And I'm in Reincarnation 64, ready to go to 65, but I'm not going to go to 65 yet, because there's one thing I want to get out of the way, and this is this challenge here. The reason is because I was away for over three weeks, and I was, you know, offline, which, I mean, I don't have this research on me right now, but... It's like stuff like this, C305, that's 6,000 assistants, which is one of the hardest parts of that challenge. I need 6,000 assistants. So, um, yeah, and also I should have enough gems to get like the diamond coin requirements and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, abdicate here and I'm going to go, I was thinking about it like off camera and the best strategy is probably Druid Line Druid. I know, it's kind of weird. I'm not really sure. Well, I can all, I can't only use druid lineage. That's kind of a shame. Um, but I mean, oh, it cannot match any of your. Um, I don't know. I, I um I don't think the lineage is gonna play a big part into this. So we're just gonna we're gonna go druids instead of um, titans. Because I know just the druid upgrades give like really good max mana, and that's like one of the, one of the other really hard things that I can't do yet. So let's see. We're we're going to well, first of all S five hundred, the best research. It's also a couple of others I need. I need C three hundred five. I need E two ninety um, because I need a certain amount amount of excavations. There's also like a building requirement, so maybe I should get some of those building ones. Um, of course, I'm also going to need some... I don't really need any more assistant ones. I will need, you know, faction coin ones. I think there's, like, one that's, like, 400,000% that's based on, like, offline time. It's... Is it this one? Um, no, it's not that one. It's, I know there's, like, one of them that is a ridiculous... Amount. Oh, yeah, this one. So, I want to get this just... This is just for this run. I'm not going to save this build because it's kind of specific to this run. So, I mean, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna still need more. I'm gonna need to get, you know, mana regen stuff. So, um, like this, is this, a, this is a mana regen and max mana. Um, there's definitely more things I need. Unfortunately, I cannot get this, which will give me a lot of mana regen. Don't want spell duration, I just want, I think at this point what I'm just gonna, going for is just mana regen. This is max mana, um, this is probably good, um, and then I'm not really sure how our main production is going to be yet, so I'm going to just skip this for now. I could get multiplicative faction coins one, um, I don't really need any more assistance. Let's see, is there anything, I guess this is good, this is like 150% faction coins, um, this one I know is also pretty good, so I'm just going to get it. This is mana regen, we probably want that. That's it. I might have skipped something good. Uh, I don't think I skipped anything. Actually, I don't know. This... Hmm. Hmm. I'm not really sure. It's, I probably don't need to be super optimized at this. We, just, we need more mana regen, so we're just going to get any of this. We... Okay, this is really good. Multiplicative mana regen boost. Yes, please. And, oh yeah, this is the really good max mana one. So, we're almost good here. We just, we still need a little bit more. Um, there's probably something I can do here. I, I can start purchasing a few more things. Can I get any? No, I can't get any of these yet. I guess I'll just, I'll just keep building my research build. Um... Let's see. So, where, what do I get? There is... Um, I don't, I don't, do I need faction coins? None of these are particularly good. Is there anything that even... Okay, this is a buildings one, so we're going to want that. I guess. Yeah, not not a lot of good ones. There's a mana regen here, so get that. Um, I have enough mana regen, actually. And I have enough max mana, so I... I don't need to focus on that anymore. I can just focus on stuff like um, I can get like this and this if I want. 
I don't know what the best one is. We're just going to get this, and I guess I'll probably also... I'm guessing I want to go Unique Buildings. Yeah, Worm's Den looks like it's doing the most. So, we're going to get that, and we're going to get... Let's see, is there any good... Um, this one's probably good enough that it's worth going for. Um, this is a good faction coin one. It's multiplicative 250%, so it's good. There's another mana regen one, but we don't need mana regen anymore. I just want... Is there anything else I'm missing here? Like, I need buildings, which is just coins. I need faction coins. I, I need um, yeah, buildings. Mana produced. Oh, I forgot about that. I do want to go for mana regen. <laughs> I know, it's kind of stupid. I have a million mana regen, but if I need 2e10 mana produced, I'm going to need a lot of mana regen. So, I think... So, yeah, I do want to keep going for literally as much mana regen as possible. And is there anything else good? There's this. I think this is good. I, I don't know if that was good. Um, oh yeah, there's this, there's, um, yeah, I probably want to get that. That's one, I think that's one of the best researches. Um, what is it, is it no, offline? Um, this is, okay, it's just, I'm probably just going to get that instead. So let, let's see what we even have. We have, um, max mana, we don't need max mana anymore. Um, no, 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 maybe this one. I think, I don't know, I'm not sure how good that one was. Max mana, no. I guess we'll get this faction coin one. Um, this one, no. I don't want to get that one. It doesn't seem like the highest building tiers are actually doing a lot. No, not that one. Let's see, none of these are actually that good. I guess I can get this, this, and... I don't really want non-unique buildings. Let's let's see. I probably just did this one, and then I I went back into these to see. This one's probably decent. Um, is there anything else that looks? Oh yeah, there's worms. This worms then one, of course. And I think that's it. If we just get and that now we're just gonna max our excavations. I can't quite get all the way there. Um. But it's enough to upgrade, like, the worm's den and everything, which hopefully gives me something. Unfortunately, I just cannot use a lineage, which I feel like... Well, okay, we have the 7,500 ex excavations, so that's under control. We don't quite have the diamond coins. I, I know I have the buildings. Like, this is um, easy at this point. And we have, like, every one of these... I'm not really sure where I'm, I'm supposed to go from here. I guess I just wait. Because I just need enough, like, mana regen. And just mana produced and everything. And there's a worm's den thing. So that'll help. That'll help with the... Is it, what is it? It's E141. So that's definitely possible. So I think I have... I'm going to be able to get most of these. The faction coins is really easy. Um... So that, that's not a problem. I think all I'm going to need is... Well, the problem is this only activates once a second, which may make it way harder to get mana. And then, yeah, nothing I can do here. So I think the best bet is just to wait here. But hopefully once I'm done with that, I'll get both of this challenge reward and this challenge reward. And I think these end up usually... These ones end up usually being really good, I think. So, and that'll be it for challenges, at least for now. Maybe, maybe, maybe in the future, things will be different. But, yeah, seen a bit. Okay, I'm back about 18 hours later. Unfortunately, it was the longer of the two. I checked in like six hours later, and I was not there. And... Well, first, yeah, we've beaten the challenge, which first we're just going to see we get this Prestige Challenger trophy, which gives us this little upgrade. Increase the overall production of Prestige factions by 25%. So that's pretty nice. And here are our rewards. So 
Production bonus from gems is additively increased based on the amount of artifacts you own. Resets on over time based on the amount of artifacts you own. So it's a it grows over time bonus. This may make you know like long runs over time a lot better. And you know resets on applications. And then we get this reincarnations count fifty percent more while Dragon's Breath is active at tier five or higher. So I yeah I guess that's that's nice. And now we're going to go over this artifact. Because we have spammed Dragon's Breath enough during this whole time. That this has a good chance of actually, you know, being gotten. And since we can, you know, reset our excavations, it makes it even better. So I don't want to buy max. I want to buy, like, I definitely want to buy 700. And, okay, there we go. We already got it. I didn't realize I was going to get that lucky. So, the extracted soul from an ancient dragon wields the power to, to the end of the world, and it also makes a good super ingredient. So, does this do anything? No. It doesn't do anything other than, um, this is, I guess, a little higher, but it doesn't, it doesn't really do much. What, I'm, what I will do is I will abuse the free resets so I can get try, try to get some more faction coins. Because why not? So, yeah, just get as much as I can. Honestly, just 8,000 is good here. Reset. Get another 8,000. Reset. We can just keep doing it this way. Here, I can only get 7,000. Um, you lose currently owned coins. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay, then I can just buy max. Still 8,000, and I can, you know, free reset one more time, and... By Max, this allows me to get Dragon's Breath six for the first time. I don't, I know this isn't really a big deal, but I guess it's nice to have six. This means it can affect a bonus twice. Interesting. I did not know that was gonna happen. And we can do Royal Exchanges to a whole new level. So anyway, we can reincarnate now. It's not, I guess, it's not really the biggest thing ever, but. Yeah, here, here it is. Reincarnation, 65. Is there anything here? No. I don't know what I'm supposed to exactly go for in these next few reincarnations. I probably have to just optimize for the lineage a lot more. I've heard faceless lineage is just really good. I'm like, this is, this is just increase the duration of all spells. Like, maybe there's something else I should be going for? There's definitely, there has to be some better ones. Like, and I, I have no idea. Like, this seems... Okay, it's per level. I don't, know, I don't know what this whole duration of all spells thing craziness is. It's, it honestly seems like a bad thing, considering how, you know, with all the luck-based spells, it's just... Yeah, I'm not exactly sure where to go from here. But that will be resolved in next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.